Want to learn the easy way to customize your Windows 10 desktop? Here you go. Customizing your Windows 10 desktop doesn't really have to be all that difficult. There's a lot of apps, and that's what makes Windows, well, Windows. While Mac OS is getting a lot of praise for completely overhauling their UI, and Windows has been well fluttering around with Fluent, there are easy ways to customize Windows. I mean, you can make it look like this. This is my desktop right here, and all of this can be done with about five different applications. Most of them are free. There is one that is a premium application, but you don't have to buy it. You don't have to do whatever, you know. Let's just walk through how you can take your desktop from plain Jane vanilla to looking something a little bit more modern. So let's just walk through here. This is a standard Windows 10 desktop. Obviously that wallpaper is custom, um, but we will get started here with a program called Taskbar X. Now I just launched it and you can see it centers your taskbar. And then there's also task Taskbar X configurator, which allows you to do several different things, changing blur, background, and a few other things that'll click through here. Some of them are hard to see based on the background that I have selected. And keep in mind that it does have to refresh each time, but you can get rid of uh, the taskbar completely if you want after it centers. This is a free app application, but you can grab it from the Windows Store for about two bucks if you want to support the developer, which I do recommend because you should support developers who create these apps and it's two bucks. Um, and that will center your apps on the taskbar and make it nice and easy to use. There's also different animations you can select. It's pretty robust. It's on GitHub for free, Windows Store for two bucks. Um, and that is the first thing you are going to need to do to start to modernize the desktop for Windows 10. So moving along here to the next application that you're going to want to use, it's called Rain Meter. Rain Meter has been around for a very long time. I think 2005, maybe even. Um, but what it allows you to do is to build out custom widgets for your desktop. And there are a ton that you can choose from. I've got all the links down below. So just click that and you'll be able to find everything you need. But Rain Meter allows you to customize the desktop with widgets that are either sort of uh I don't want to say static because these are live widgets, but they're not really interactive. They just show desktop data, including CPU, um, input, output on my uh, networking, storage, and all that good stuff. But there are tons and tons and tons of customization, including um, tying into like Spotify and other things on the web, weather, clocks. If you have a dream, Rain Meter can make it happen, but it is a little bit more complicated to run. You have to go download skins, get them set up. Sometimes you need third-party apps like Core Temp uh, to be able to bring in your CPU temperature, and it is a one of the harder apps to actually get wired up correctly, but it allows you to put widgets on your desktop and it's really customizable and I love it. The other app uh, that you're gonna wanna download, which is free by the way, Rain Meter is free as well, is this file app, file preview. Basically it's the modern version of File Explorer. It looks great, it's modern, it has tabs. Yes, that's right folks, it has tabs. Uh, you can. It's a modern version of File Explorer. You can go grab it from the Windows Store. It is again free. And it allows you just to, hey, have a better UI for the file explorer that looks a little bit more modern and you can use it to your heart's desire. And there's some minor customization, but this one is actively being developed. So look for updates coming down the pipeline uh, to give you a more robust modern file explorer experience. The other one that you're gonna wanna download, by the way, is called Power Toys. This is a free application from Microsoft and it has a bunch of customizations that you can apply to Windows 10, including this search bar that you can use that is much more similar to what you see on something like Mac OS, it puts it right big and centering. and you can just type whatever you want and it will run the app. It's actually called Power Toys Run, I believe. And there are a ton of customizations inside of Power Toys, including setting your own snapped windows, which is where you drag a window to the side. Um, and of course that run experience, you can also power rename a bunch of different files at one time. It's a free app, it's something you should go check out and run and explore, especially if you're watching this video and you don't know about Power Toys, that is definitely something you are going to want to check out because again, it is free. I'm saying free a lot because people always say hey I don't like paying for software for whatever crazy reason this one's free from Microsoft fully supported being updated very regularly at the time of this video um, I mean almost like every three weeks or so there's a new version coming out and so you can get a lot of different power functionality with well an app just called power toys now the last application you're going to need is the most robust it is called curtains it is from Stardock. it is not free but it allows you to fully skin the entire windows ui with a single click of a button now keep in mind that if you're running taskbar x blur and acrylic features this will overwrite those settings and it takes a minute for it to get set up you click a different theme and it will allow you to change 
everything. And you can see here, it just, it literally rewriting the UI for you. Um, and there's a bunch of different options. There's even some Windows XP nostalgia. And it also does change the start button to a more modern version of the Windows uh, logo, which you'll see here in a second. But Curtains from Starduck is a pretty good app. If you want to just, hey, hey, I will pay some money. And then I can just click a button, have a whole bunch of changes. It does take, give it 30 seconds or so once you click a thing. Um, and then you can also customize the colors. It is a well designed and well supported application um, for those who really want to tweak and customize every single end of the OS. It really is good. Now there's other apps from Starduck, but they're all premium. Uh, one's called Groupie, allows you to put tabs on everything. That's another good one that you are going to want to check out. You can see here me flipping through the light uh, theme and that changes that start button over there. There's just a lot you can do inside of Windows 10 to really customize it. All of those apps bring you back to how I got to this experience here, which is effectively all those apps running at the same time, doing various different things. Now, if you're trying to get the best bang for the buck and buck meaning zero dollars, what I would recommend is start with Taskbar X. It is free, it is very easy to use. You just run it, it centers the icons. It really just kind of, it makes the taskbar just a little bit more friendly. Um, you can also grab that files UWP, that is completely free. And it will just give you, again, just a little bit better of an experience. If you're feeling a little bit more fancy and you want to try to change up your workflow that is when power toys comes in and if you're feeling most confident and you really want to go all in that is when you should grab curtains and rain meter rain meter is by far the most customizable part of the desktop experience but it is also going to require the most amount of effort because not every skin is very well documented curtains is by far uh, probably the easiest way to get the most robust skinning but it's not going to come free and it's going to require you to obviously uh, cough up some dollars but that's probably well worth it if you're spending a lot of time with windows 10 and so that is just a really quick and easy way you can update the experience on windows 10 it doesn't have to be too crazy expensive it doesn't have to be overly complex just keep in mind that as you're layering these things on top of each other you might break some functionality in other apps so just keep that in mind specifically taskbar x and curtains can fight sometimes um, but other than that this is the quick and easy way to modernize your desktop and that's all we got for this time